Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to the new Galaxy Gamers channel. Welcome back to our um, progress uh, progressive survival series in Space Engineers. I hope you are all having a wonderful week and having a, ver having a lot of success in your week. Um, I'm really excited to be back with you guys in this episode. Um, as usual, the normal disclaimers are in the description, but for those just joining this channel, if you are new here, welcome aboard. For those of you returning, welcome back. Uh, I do enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments and everything for each video. And I do try to respond to each comment as quickly as I can. Sometimes I have to use a translator. Sometimes those translators, like Google Translator, cough, cough. <laughs> don't always work the way they should so I sometimes get the translations wrong um, but that I, I hope you'll bear with me and forgive me if I do make a mistake in the translations of comments uh, I do the best that I can um, that being said all the normal this for those of you who are new to the channel I am a software developer who specialize and own my own, I am a software developer and own my own software development company, uh, specializing in development of virtual world platforms and related, related uh, software and devices. Um, I do not work for any of the developers of the games that I bring you gameplay videos of. Those gameplay videos are merely for entertainment purposes only. And uh, I'm not paid paid to promote these games I'm not paid to critique these games in any way I'm not an independent contractor nor do I have any uh, financial interest in these companies nor am I in a decision making uh, position or nor am I employed or an independent contractor of these companies that being said I will often give my two cents as to what I think is good in the game what I think is bad what I think could be improved and all that good stuff uh, those opinions are merely my opinions they do not represent the opinions of the developers of these wonderful games and um, they don't reflect their attitudes or views and um, I neither endorse a game nor do I oppose a game uh, necessarily um, that being said um, the full disclaimer is in the description of the video as always all right that out of the way let's grab our clang cola and yes that is a thing in space engineers um, there is a little bit of a story behind that I don't know the full story I just know that a couple of years back somebody came up with the idea of clang cola in a I think it was in a live stream or something and uh, the fo the good folks at Keen Software House liked that idea, thought it was funny, and they put it in the game. So it is in the game. There is a such thing in Space Engineers as Clang Cola, believe it or not. <laughs> All right, so let's get right to it, ladies and gentlemen, shall we? Um, okay. So as you can see, I welded up our conveyor. We were last working on getting the conveyor systems in place. I have welded it up uh, there were places that I actually discovered we put in the wrong uh, junk uh, conveyor junction and so I fixed that off camera um, and made sure that everything is working here as it should so that is that for here a little bit of lag I blame clang <laughs> I also fixed up down here, put in the conveyor down here, got that all running through as you can tell. Um, and I've added the, added the blocks here to cover this over so we don't screw up and get all hurt and injured. And before I forget, I need to come bring, get myself out of creative mode. All right, so that being said, um, let's grab our stuff and get right to it, shall we? We've got a lot to do, and I kind of want to get the that uh, the uh, rest of the entry part of the space of the uh, flying ships hangar set up. Um, at least I don't know that we'll get it all done today. Um, I don't anticipate it, but you never know. 
We'll grab some interior plate, grab some um, steel plate. We've got our bobs, our build and repair systems all filled and ready to go with steel plate and metal grid so that when we turn that on, we can get right to that. Now, what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, I we will do this. I'm going to have to buy All right, I think I'll be okay. Um... Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, that's going to work. Okay, I can do it. We'll do this. We'll start filling in our floor. Because we got to get... Yeah, all right. Because we have to... Get that going here. Do this now I always end up making a big mistake <laughs> in my builds and I end up doing a little too much greveling as we call it in space engineers greveling by the way just means making things look good in space engineers that's what that means hey I just taught you guys a little bit of space engineers lingo um That's pretty cool. I'm excited. I, ca I taught you guys some lingo in <laughs> Space Engineer Stunts. Um, yeah, they do call it, we do call it Graveling in Space Engineers. It's basically just decorating, being, you know, decorating and making stuff look good. Oftentimes, I make the mistake of greveling when I am building my bases, when reality is I should probably be putting in, like, the um, the infrastructure pieces first and getting that all hooked up and working, and then doing the decorative stuff. But, hey, it is what it is, right? Uh, there's no real right or wrong way to do this. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Did I just do this wrong? Oh, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. No, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't. Thought I had for a second there. Um, so yeah, I I will admit I am guilty of reveling most of the time. <laughs> and as you can hear in the background, there we got our drill going too. And our drill is doing a handy, a fine job at continuing to dig out the mountainside. All that. I think I didn't check to see how our reactors are doing power wise. Right. He'll do this. Get this going right here, just like this, just like so.
Aha! Alright, cool. Let's do this. Eventually, we will like just like that. It's going to be a lot of blocks to weld up. Good thing I got that bob, right? Actually, I probably should get the build and repair system going on that, huh? Uh, when we have to go get more steel plate, which we will, uh, I'll, um... I'll add more. I'll, we'll turn the bobs on and let that start welding. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're getting there. Connect to the air mount. So this is how we do this.
Okay. <laughs> this is good. Oops. That's why I didn't want to turn on my... Yeah. Build and repair yet, just in case I do something dumb like that. That's okay. This does get tricky, <laughs> making sure you put all the blocks in the right spot. It can be very tricky to get that right. And as you're seeing, I'm being very careful so that way I've got enough room. So that way I can make sure we get our connectors in there. Why I'm not really saying much at the moment. I start running my mouth, I'm probably more likely to accidentally Place a block where we don't want it to be placed, right? So far, so good. I need 
steel plate. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's go get ourselves some more. Let's uh, drop you off here. recharge our hydrogen we'll re, re um, charge our suit while we're at it here just because I know we need to Have our little, have a sip of clean cola. Trying to save on how many blocks we're actually using. I don't want this to be I don't want this to be too high with block usage. I forgot to turn the bob on, didn't I? Oopsie. Oopsie. It's a good thing I remember that. Eh? Let's turn these bad boys on. Let them get going on their job.
Okay. Let's get connectors so that I don't mess this up. Cause I think I'm gonna, <laughs> if I'm not careful. Um, that didn't sound good. Yeah, let me just throw these connectors in, then I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so I think I've got all the connectors in place. Oops. Nope. Okay. So we'll do this. I think I got them all. Yeah, I think I got them all now. Okay, so that actually... That actually does help. And to be honest, I probably should have put them on right from the start. Oh well.
There we go. Just like this, we'll have this floor. like this ladies and gentlemen we're getting this floor built and we will be able to continue on with the next step I gotta be more careful with my clicking. <laughs> so there is one content creator I do watch when it comes to space engineers. Him and his buddy, they're, uh, they're a pretty funny duo when it comes to uh, the various games they play. And you may not know it, but I do, um, I do, you know, watch some of the other videos, not on, you know, on my private account, YouTube account, but, um, well, I don't think any YouTube account's private, but. I have a, I do have a separate account where I can watch videos without cluttering the uh, channel and whatnot. And um, I do tend to watch some of the other content creators out there that you know play some of the same games that I enjoy, and that does give me ideas as well. And Construction components. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and um... Oof. almost slammed right into the refinery. <laughs> Fine. 
All right, let's queue up. Connector. All right, there we go. We'll get that going and that will help. Get it making all the rest of the stuff first. Cause that's what we need right now. Construction. You know what? I just remembered. Probably have some of the stuff in here. that help out a little bit. Hey look everybody, we're having a welding palooza. <laughs> Um, we're gonna have to fix that. Oi! Well, I missed one. did miss some stuff here. Alright, I'm out.
I need steel plate. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Now, where is that one that I fell in? Let's find where that steel plate is. Oh, right there. Okay, this is good. We're doing well. We are doing well, my friends. Okay. So, while we're actually in the process, um, let's go ahead, because I know that's going to take some time, and, and I'm not going to get all that welded off camera, on camera, I don't think. Let's, um, let's do this. can start framing this in. Don't anticipate us. Um. Up to here, so the door is going to be right there. Okay, so the door is going to be there, that's going to be like that. Alright, so it's right up against the door. Okay, um... Oh. 
fuel low. Fuel critical. Let's do this, my friends. Recharge, there we go. That is gonna take some time to do. Let's actually run over here real quick. Grab some more. Oh no, I can actually pull it from here. Alright, we can start framing this out. Now, how do I do this down here? Okay, so just a straight block there. Let's bring this. All the way over. Start framing it out. Start framing this piece out anyway. Now, I, you know, I right now I'm kind of just winging it and tends to be what I do with my bases because if you have if you want to I've always found that you know you can have a you sh it's okay to have a plan as to how you want your infrastructure to work but you know the decorative stuff you're always gonna be you're never gonna really know until you actually get to building as to what it's gonna look like and so You know, I tend to just go with the flow and see what my mind, what creativity my mind has. And, um, you know, sometimes I often get ideas just as I, I just start building and I often come up with 
interesting um, ideas, you know? So. You know, never. I, I always tell people that you should never be afraid to let your mind be creative because it can be a good thing. Um, it all really depends on what you want to do, you know? Um, can pretty much do just about anything that you set your mind to, so. I always tell folks, that's what I always tell people, is you can always, you can always pretty much do whatever you put your mind to. You just have to be willing to, um, put that time and that energy into into wanting to do it, right? You know, it's... It's uh, pretty much simple as that. Now, if I haven't messed this totally up. I didn't. Good. Okay, there we go. Where's my jetpack going? Better recharge and refill my hydro. So yeah, I mean, I always tell people to never be afraid of um, what you want to do, because if you put your mind to it, you'll be fine. You're going to be able to accomplish anything. As long as you're willing to put in the time and the effort into it, uh, there's no stopping you from doing what you what it is you want to do and maybe it's maybe it's that you have a a dream right maybe it's something that you want to accomplish maybe you have a dream maybe you want to create an create a uh, an organization or support group that focuses on a certain need in your community um, Things like that, or, or maybe you want to be a software developer like I'm doing. Um, maybe you want to be a professional gamer. I don't know that that's a real profession, but I mean, if maybe that's what you want to be. Maybe you want to be a YouTuber. Uh, maybe, maybe you want to go into politics. Maybe you want to be a school teacher. Uh, whatever it is that you want to do, that you want to be in life, don't give up on those hopes and dreams. If you put your mind to it and you're willing to put the end and you put time and effort into it, 
I have no, there's no doubt in my mind that you will go very far. So, there's something to keep in mind. Alright, that's framed. Now, the question I have to think about... And I need to really seriously think about this. Um... So we know unless I were to do the the blast doors and that's I don't know that I want to do that. Um Okay, we're gonna be able to put we'll put a slope here. The doors with the windows in it would actually be a good idea here. Um, so we know those blocks go up by three. I know what I can do. Okay. I got an idea what I want to do. All right. Now, the one thing I want to check before we get too far into this, and I screw everything at my plan up, which I know I will. While I am right here, standing here. Bingo! All right, so this will actually put us, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I couldn't have planned that better. Okay, so that means if we look, as we're looking up, you can actually see where we marked, if you remember when I, we discussed putting the all the power, uh, like the wind turbines and our solar sis power system, up on the top of the cliff. Well, if you look up, we are actually pretty much right underneath that landmark right now. So we're gonna be able to drill down here in the next episode or two and actually start putting that in place up there. Um, so that we can actually start putting the wind turbines in place up there, putting the um solar panels up there and whatnot and that's going to be awesome because that's going to be a very big key of what we want to do so we are at, we are at that point where we're going to be able to connect the top up there to the actual base that's underground and now here's the thing we are going to have a reactor in the base we're going to make a power room and a reactor room and whatnot. So the base is going to have plenty of power. But it's also, it's always a good idea. Should something go wrong and, or the reactors run out or whatever, to have backup power, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have that. But we're going to make sure that we do it in the most efficient way possible. So I'm actually glad that my idea for that actually worked out a little bit better than I thought it would. Um, so that is actually good news. Here's another one that I need a connector for. What did I do? Just like forget to put connectors in?
Some of this I'm probably going to weld up off camera too, just so you know. That way we can continue moving forward. Um, whoa! Almost fell in. So that's set. You know what? I'm just gonna. May as well. Hydrogen tank while we're at it. Our hydrogen bottle. Make sure we're fully charged. Let me think here, because I know we need light. Corner light. Corner light double. Got light panel. Let's see, how much does this, I've not, I don't think I've actually left about with this. I've actually messed about with this. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to do it for me. Cool. Mm. Well... I guess that's not too bad.
Let's see, does it have the same properties as the lights? By the way, the uh, light panel is a new block. Uh, I forget which, I think it was in this DLC that just dropped that it came out. Might have been actually in the last one though. Oh, okay. So if I do that right, Let me think here a minute, folks. I do that right. Yeah, actually, that could work. Okay. All right, yeah, that would actually work for what I want down here. Scene. <laughs> Pretty much cleaned out the uh <laughs> that's actually good news. Pretty much cleaned out everything that's in the um, cargo containers on our little rover there. That's actually really good news. Um, yeah. All right, let's see if I can find the Klein Cola in our ATM or in the store. Just to show you guys. I could have done those panels here. All right, so I don't have it here. Um, all right, so I'd have to actually go to another store to show you. That's okay. Wait. Oh no, it's right here. See? Flying Tola. <laughs> there you go. So I I actually don't know what Klein Cola does. I, I don't know if it's got any I've never actually used it, so I don't know if it has any attributes other than just being a meme. A mean block. Um, it might, but all right, let's bring some of this over. It might have, um, oops, it might have special properties, but I don't, I don't know. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. It, I'd have to mess around with it and see, because I've never actually used the Clang Cola. Uh, I always just thought it was just a funny meme block that that devs over at Gene Sauter House put in because someone mentioned it in a stream. I was joking around about it. But it, it might actually have some functionality. It might actually help with energy or something. Alright, 
let's see, let's go ahead and grab this. Get all the uh, ore moved over. Or the ingots. Okay, so we'll do this. Let's take a couple of minutes. <clears throat> oh, just like this. Yeah, in the silicon are usually the the two ingots that take up the most ow, the most space in your inventory. So one time I actually went into my uh, games a game save, and I was experimenting as I always do. There we got all the ore, got all the ingots. Uh, so I was ex I was experimenting as I always do off camera, <laughs> and uh, I decided one day to be a little funny and try to set the uh, inventory size for the block inventory and for. Um, my character inventory to unlimited and <laughs> I managed to crash the game um, it was a fresh save too so <laughs> apparently the logic isn't there for unlimited <laughs> but it was funny to watch I mean it just it, my character was bouncing all over the place and everything blocks weren't doing what they were supposed to do it was kind of funny to watch All right, we got all the ingots moved over. Now oh, we're getting messed up with all these wrecks. We're gonna have to go after some of them at some point. I'll have to go find them off camera so that we know where they are and we'll go grab them with the rover. Okay. Now what I am thinking So this is gonna be a three block bit for the door. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would mean um, So that's about where the top of the doorway would be. So that actually would give us plenty of room for an ob entrance observation lounge. If we wanted it. Okay. Alrighty. So I might actually weld up, get a, get all this welded up off camera, just so that you guys don't have to sit there and watch me weld all day, because it is going to take a little while to do. Um, Yeah, I 
will take me a little while to do it to get it all welded up but um, I'll get all this welded up off camera and I f okay oh lightning I think this is the first time we've actually seen lightning on this planet. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing I got the no lightning, no, no lightning damage mod in place. I think this is the first time I've actually seen lightning on this planet. Huh. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. They did a good job with that. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Reminds me, I saw this picture the other day. Someone sent me a, a picture of a lightning strike that happened near them, and uh, the lightning bolt came down and hit the ground so close to their house. They th <laughs> it looked like it was going to set the house on fire, and it was, or at least the building. And um, one would have thought it actually had hit the building but it didn't and um they said the uh the ground hit point of that lightning bolt was probably about a mile away from them but it's just the way lightning has that optical illusion that it can make you actually think it's hitting somewhere where it really when it's probably hitting maybe anywhere from a mile to 50 miles away so it was an interesting picture to see. You're buzzing something. I heard, keep hearing buzzing. It's not anything in the game, so. <laughs> it's, it's something, uh, where I am. It might actually be the, uh, the refrigerator. Oh, 
Okay, so I think <laughs> we're getting there. Alright, um, okay. Well, I think, I think I, what I'm, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put windows here. Do, we'll do just like we did downstairs on both sides. Um, Let me just map this out real quick so that I... That's where the door would be. Oh, if I did. So we'll start framing this out, I guess. As well, right here. Oh, that was real smart. Didn't damage it. Do it here. Do the same thing here. Yep. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually frame this. Wait. No, I screwed up. Oh no, this actually will work. You want the love. You want the critical. I forgot we were going to do that. We never finished that. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We'll finish it right now. Put, set it up right now so that we can finish it. Look at that. 
Now, oh, I bet this is where I... Okay, that's why... Alright, that's why I never finished. So then... So I think, um, ink, paint. I don't know what we'll do here. Um... Right, I'll leave it like that for now. I'll leave it like that for now. And... We'll grab a conveyor junction right here. Okay. 
There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we'll call it there for this episode. Um, and we will continue on in the next episode. Um, I will... I will finish welding up what we need, what needs to be welded right now off camera so that you guys don't have to, you know, sit through all that because that can be very monotonous. Um, so I will do that off camera and spare you the frustration of that. But if you did, I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification icon to let yourself know when the next video becomes available. Be sure to tell your friends and family, co-workers, acquaintances, anyone you know about about the channel and send give them the link so that they can check it out for themselves it does help the channel and be sure to leave your thoughts and ideas and suggestions and feedback in the comments i do enjoy uh, interacting with you all in the comments and we're going to have a great community with that being said i will see you i hope you all have a safe and happy week uh and i hope you are successful in everything that you do and I will see you in the next episode. Happy gaming.